Welcome back to the channel, I hope you're all keeping well. So today I'm here at Tadcaster Albion Football Club to watch the Spurs legends take on Yorkshire Spurs in a charity game for prostate cancer. So I've now got Paul Pavlou with me, the organiser of today's event. Paul, how did it all come about? I just got a lot. We've done one last year for, um, for the J3 Foundation up at Marine. Played the Spurs Legends and it was just, just to get a group of mates together, just to play the match. And it just got quite um, successful. A load of people turned up, raised a load for charity. So we thought we'd bring the event back to Yorkshire, do it over here. Now you're part of the Yorkshire Spurs and right, yeah. uh, the Yorkshire Spurs are putting on a team to play the Legends today. Yeah. You confident of winning? Um, no, there's no one here. No, we lost nine one last year, so I'm not Did expecting you? too much. Nine no, one, but we've we raised a lot of money last year, and we've we've, we've already raised nearly eight thousand pound today for the event. So incredible. That's the main thing, really, spreading the awareness of Prostate Cancer UK, which is what the match is about, and all your mates having a good time. Sold a load of tickets, got mascots, penalty shootouts, kick up competitions, just loads going on, getting everyone out, spreading the Spurs word. Paul, raising money today for prostate cancer, if people want to get involved, yeah. how can they get involved? Um, well, you can come down and buy tickets if you're not here. I don't know when this video is going out. You can just Google Yorkshire Spurs and you'll find a Just Giving page somewhere on our website. And how are you feeling ahead of next season? Andrew Postacoglu, new boss, Madison's just signed, Vicario's just signed. You know what? Everyone's really positive at the moment, aren't they? So, yeah, I think we need a couple more players. And yeah, everyone can't wait for the season to start. But everyone I speak to, anyway. Yeah. Paul, best of luck with us today. No Thank you very much. Come on, you Spurs. So I've now got Paul with me, one of the players who is playing today against the Spurs legends. Paul, how are you feeling? Um, really looking forward to it. Really, really looking forward to it. Um, I've just celebrated my 54th birthday. Um, so to be enabled just to sort of even to sort of participate in this. Me, my legs are all right, I think. My ankles are all right. My knees are all right, I think. Ask me that after the game. But just to be able just to take part, I just find it a, a, a fantastic privilege and a great honour just to participate and take, be on the same field with some of the players that I used to go and watch when I was a kid. So I just think it's awesome. I, I find it fantastic. So I'm in awe, to be honest. The Spurs Legends team is yet to be confirmed, but who yeah. would you like to play against today? Um... There's sort of obviously David Howells, um, Sedgley, um, where the players obviously Basson, who, who's just recently just sort of finished playing as well. Uh, but anybody from the 80s, the early 90s, when I were a kid, sort of growing up, going to watch them, I just the, the pitch looks fantastic. It's going to be a fantastic attendance by all accounts. And again, it's just, I just find it an absolute privilege and a honour to be here. We've got some great players. We have some really good players. And I think we can actually give uh, the legends a, a bit of a game as well, to be honest. So we'll see what happens. Paul, just going to ask you quickly about Tottenham's uh, season next year. And Postacoglu, of course, has just taken over. Madison signed, Vicario signed. You feeling positive about next year? Absolutely, yeah. I, th I think sort of like when when we heard about the new manager, we were all a bit who, um, and I think what can we, what we can touch on is we got quite a lot of correspondence from Celtic fans who then said they were in exactly the same position two years ago, and the uh, how that how he got them playing and how Celtic changed with a, an attacking force. I think it's a, just an absolutely positive move. It's just what we need. It's the guy that we need. The positive thing and the good thing as far as I'm concerned is that we wanted a goalkeeper, we've got a goalkeeper, we needed an, an attacking midfielder, we've got an attacking midfielder, so let's now just concentrate on the defence, get the defence sorted out and I'm really, really optimistic and I think what will go in our favour next season is the fact that we're not in European football, so I think that'll be a massive plus for next year and then hopefully with the team that we get, 
we can move on and get back into the Champions League next season. Paul, thank you so, so much and uh, best of luck today. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Yorkshire Spurs squad out warming up. All of these lads have been raising money and paid to take part today. All proceeds go into prostate cancer. A big thank you to our sponsors today. The, today's match is sponsored by the Spurs podcast with Chris Cowling, sponsoring the match. All Financial Advice Limited, who are sponsoring the man of the match today. We've got Mark Satins who's sponsoring the programmes. Your programmes are available for a pound each. We've got 200 of those to ship. They Thank <laughs> you. 
after that but I think we've got to realise and thank you all guys for, for coming and, and raising that amount of money without you guys without Paul these events wouldn't go, go ahead we turn up I know we play unfortunately I couldn't today injured from soccer aid so um, couldn't help the team win but thank you again great cause everyone who's been affected from the horrible things that, that we're here for take care thank you again and fingers crossed this year Spurs is going to be good, eh? Yeah. So, so. Thank you again. So I'm with Spurs legend Michael Dawson. Michael, Ange Postacoglu, what do you think? Very positive. Um, I think I've said it very openly on Sky. I think it's... Look, we've, we've been in a position where it had to change. Um, and, and you look... I, I think it's very familiar to... 2014. Yeah, I do. I, I look back to when Poch came in. You know, it's it's probably it's going to take a little bit of time. We know that, and unfortunately, managers don't get time. But I think he will. You know, he's going to put a stamp, change formation. We, we know, and I've certainly seen what he's done in Japan, in Australia, and most recently, recently at Celtic. I think he did he did a great job up there. This is a an even bigger challenge, in, in my opinion, coming to the Premier League, which is tough. But I'm very excited, very positive. We're certainly going to see attacking football. That is something that. I can pretty much guarantee. Over this past week or so, the positivity, even amongst the fans, seems to be back now, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah I mean, look, we've, when you look back to when Jose came in, we were all very positive. Yeah. Uh, when Antonio came, came in, we were very positive. Unfortunately, it just didn't work. Uh, and that wasn't for, for the lack of trying, certainly from the board and Daniel. Uh, they went out and got managers that had, you know, had, had won everything. It just didn't work. So, as I say, it, it, it's very, very, very similar to 2014, and I wish him and the group uh, of players all, all the best. And, and being here at Yorkshire Spurs, fans who travel all over, over, over the country, uh, let's hope it's a positive one. It's going to be tough because the Premier League, I say, week in, week out, is the best league in the world, um, and it, it never gets any easier. People keep improving, clubs keep improving, so we'll certainly do that. And as I say, hopefully, Ange can do that as well. Michael Vicario and, of course, Madison have come in. What will they bring for Tottenham? Well, James Madison, um, I'm a massive fan. I always have been since, you know, I played against him. He was at Norwich and I was at Hull City. He was fantastic, fantastic player. We should have signed him then. Yeah, probably, yeah. Well, he scored a, a few goals against me when I played against him. So, no, I think he, you see what he did for, for Leicester. Now, this is, uh, yes, Chip, it's, uh, this is another, another step up for him. We're all going to expect big things from you. See him on the uh, in the England squad, and now he's going into a great football. You know, he's, he's a creativity player. He'll get on the board. He'll try ball and try and start attacks, and he'll give him a little time. Always moving. I always say this: um, different players from all over the world come. You, it takes time. James Madison knows the Premier League. Yeah. But we've got to be patient. We've got to give him that time. Unfortunately, we don't get time in football, so he'll want to hit the ground running like every other player, every other team in the country. Vicario, you happy with him? Yeah, I mean, look, yeah, he's... Uh, this talk about coming to a different environment, getting settled. Now every club, player liaison wants to help you get settled in, to find you somewhere to live, you know, and it's a new challenge for him. 
he's going to get after talk about James Madison knowing the Premier League. He doesn't, so he's going to have to give him a, give him a chance. You know, Hugo's still there and. Fraser as well, so he'll be competing, and, and time will tell whether he'll be number one. Only Ange knows that. It's, it's hard for for an outset. You look when the, when the pre-season game starts, you start to get a, a little bit more of an inkling who's in his plans and who's not, because we can all speculate at this moment in time. But it's a clean slate for every single player in that building. Yeah. Um, and you know, maybe ones that were, the door was a little bit open. Maybe it's it's closed, and you, you stay in and you you knuckle down, and a new manager sees something in there. Maybe that hasn't gone. The, Gone so well for previous managers. Mark, well, lastly, what will be a successful season for Tottenham and what will Ange Postacoglu be aiming for for next season? Well, we'll, we'll be certainly uh, looking to improve, improve on last year. Last year yeah. was so disappointing, there was, there's no hiding that. Uh, you know, for someone who works for the football club and a fan of football, you, we didn't expect to see Spurs where they are. But this can happen. I said it's the best league in the world. Top four, in my opinion, is uh, realistic. That's what we've got, got to be our challenge. We were in it 12 months ago, and we've got to try and get get back into it. And like I've said, there's plenty of other teams are, are, are after that challenge Absolutely. and after the same thing. So it's one of those you just can only only focus on what you can affect, and, and Andrew will be doing that. And that's getting the, the group of players up to the, the way he wants them to play with the intensity and tacking free-flowing football that we saw at Celtic. Yeah. Um, I think at times in the Premier League you will have to bring your full backs in and you're maybe not going to be as expen- expansive as what you were up in Scotland and, and do that because you can get hurt because we've got some of the best teams in the world arguably for me the best team in, in Man City so that will probably have to change a little bit but then when you can take the game to the opposition then I certainly see him doing that Michael thank you so much come on you Spurs <laughs>